The 8610 bale processor is one of the most versatile pieces of equipment in the Case International lineup. Not only is the 8610 capable of shredding all types of crop for livestock feed, it can be used to process bales for bedding and mulching. In feeding applications, it's been estimated that producers can realize a 20% or greater savings in feed usage when bales are shredded, as opposed to feeding bales unrolled or in a feeder. By processing dense, tight bales, it's much easier for livestock to feed. No longer is feed trampled and wasted when long bunches of hay drop to the ground, the way it does when livestock pull from a bale. Overall feed quality and consumption are dramatically improved when bales are processed because long, stemmy, or marginal quality weathered hay from the outside of the bale is more palatable when cut into short lengths and combined with good quality hay from the inner bale. An operator can eliminate some of the more expensive ingredient additives of a daily feeding program because livestock get more fiber from the stems of the hay that they now eat. When hay has been processed into short lengths, livestock are unable to separate hay from preferred ingredients. That means livestock consume feed that may have been wasted had it not been processed, which means feed waste is virtually eliminated. The 8610 is easy to operate, requiring only one person and one tractor to do the job. The tractor must have a minimum of two remote hydraulic systems, one for tilting the tub to load bales, and one for rotating the tub during processing. It must also be equipped with a 1,000 RPM PTO. Although the 8610 operates well with tractors in the 50 to 60 horsepower range, it's built rugged enough to operate with tractors up to 150 horsepower. That's important to operators who prefer to keep only one large horsepower tractor operational when handling cold weather chores. Loading a bale is easy with the 8610. In the loading position, the operator has good visibility of the bale through the rotor surface area of the tub. With the bale in view, the operator simply backs the loading forks of the 8610 under the bale, then engages the hydraulics to raise the tub to the upright position. The 8610 is capable of handling most any size bale. Round bales up to six and a half feet. With the optional bale driver kit, you can process small round bales or square bales. Even large one-ton rectangular bales with the optional big bale kit. And because the 8610 is capable of handling such a wide range of tractor horsepower, it can handle virtually any type crop or crop condition. In normal crop conditions, a bale can be shred in an average of four minutes. Let's take a look at how the 8610 processes a bale. After a bale has been loaded, the twine has been removed, and the tub has been raised to a height slightly above the rotor surface, the operator engages the tractor PTO. The simple, efficient inline design of the 8610 driveline has no gearboxes to maintain or replace and it's protected by a slip clutch for trouble-free performance. To reduce wear on the tractor PTO clutch and to prevent damage to the driveline components, the PTO should be engaged at tractor engine idle speed only. Once the tractor PTO has been engaged and the tractor engine speed is increased, the tub is then lowered to the processing position. To begin processing, the tub is engaged to rotate. A combination of the weight of the bale, the pivoting bale driver arms, and the rotor design feed and process the bale smoothly and uniformly from beginning to end. 
The dynamically balanced rotor features 14 fixed shredding blades that are constantly exposed. They're also reversible and interchangeable for even wear. This fixed blade design is what allows for slower, more gentle processing of tender crops. Other free-swinging hammer designs depend on fast-turning centrifugal force to keep the knives exposed, and that could shred some crops to dust. The rotor also features a self-cleaning design and self-locking brake. If a clog occurs at the rotor surface, it can easily be cleared by slightly raising the tub and restarting the PTO. When the tub is being raised to the loading position, the self-locking rotor brake engages when it's raised above the rotor surface. By changing the operating procedures, an operator can vary the length of material being discharged, processing finer materials for young animals or coarse materials for mature animals. To achieve a long coarse cut, the bale should be on its rounded side. The tub should be rotated opposite the rotor rotation. The tub speed should be fast and the PTO speed should be regulated. To achieve a short fine cut, the tub should rotate in the same direction as the rotor rotation. The tub speed should be slow. And the PTO should be fully engaged. Whatever the application calls for, the 8610 is able to vary the processing action to allow for slow, gentle processing of tender crops or fast, powerful shredding of coarse, dense bales. In applications that require an even finer cut than the standard 8610 can provide, the unit should be equipped with the optional secondary cutter element kit. This kit consists of a gang of elements that are positioned below the rotor. As the rotor turns, the fixed blades pull material through the elements, which in turn cut the material shorter. It's particularly advantageous on stemmy bales or to help eliminate coarse materials at the beginning and end of bales. Some crops may require the rotor speed-up kit in addition to the secondary cutter in order to achieve the finest and most uniform average material length. The speed-up kit increases the rotor speed of the 8610 from 1000 to 2350 RPM. This increased speed causes the rotor blades to more aggressively feed tough materials through the secondary cutter. With the optional fixed conveyor, the 8610 is capable of conveying feed into troughs up to 32 inches high. The optional hydraulically operated conveyor is capable of conveying into feeders up to 60 inches high. It requires a third remote hydraulic system for operation. Both the fixed and movable conveyors feature a non-clogged belt conveyor for even flowing discharge. And there's no bottleneck of material flow because the discharge width is the same as the rotor width. The standard discharge chute features a breakaway deflector assembly. It's especially valuable when operating in close quarters for muddy and slick conditions. The standard 8610 is capable of discharging feed into troughs up to 36 inches high or lay a windrow for range feeding. With the deflector raised, feed can be blown up to 25 feet into pits for retrieval in total mix ration applications. Or it allows operators to process bales for bedding feedlots, barns, or the open range. It's especially useful in mulching applications, on construction sites, for strip mine reclamation, even nurseries. With so much capability, the 8610 bale processor is truly a versatile machine. And whether your need is processing bales for feed, bedding, or mulching, you can count on Case International for a well-designed, well-built, quality product. At Case International, we're building a better way.